Hello guys, I hope you all are doing great. In this quick tutorial video, I will show you how to move your Parallels Desktop Windows 11 virtual machine from your local MacBook SSD drive to an external drive, whether it's an external SSD or HDD. I'll also try to run Windows 11 from a pretty fast but more expensive Samsung SSD and a relatively slow but way cheaper old style spinning hard drive. And we will see how it performs on my Mac. If you want to support me, please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more tech-oriented content. Without losing more of your time, let's go straight to the topic of this video. So once you created your Windows 11 virtual machine with parallels, you can safely move it to external storage, in my case SSD drive, to save space on my computer. I'm using parallels desktop just occasionally for gaming, so I don't want to waste my internal Mac SSD space to keep over 200GB of Windows 11 virtual machine that I will be using maybe once a month, so it's better to move it somewhere else. So first, you need to go to the Parallels menu in the toolbar and go to Preferences. From here, you can select your external hard drive as the default place where your future virtual machines will be saved. But if you already created one and it's stored locally on your Mac, here is a simple instruction on how to move it to external drive. Step number one. Find your Parallels desktop virtual machine location on your Mac. The file should have an extension name, something like windows11.pvm. If you have two or more virtual machines, you can move them as well. Don't worry, moving the Windows 11 virtual machine will not damage it and you will not lose any files or games inside your virtual PC. After the moving process, you'll find the exact same virtual machine and you will be able to run it from your external drive. Step number two. Go to settings and select your new location on your external hard drive as the default place for Parallels desktop virtual machines. You can also create a folder of your choice on your external hard drive, for example Parallels. Step number 3. Move your PVM files from your Mac to your external storage. It may take some time, as files can be quite large. After the transfer is completed, you can safely delete your virtual machine from your Mac and empty your bin. Now, simply run your Windows 11 virtual machine from your external hard drive and voila, you are ready to work in Windows 11 on your Mac by running it from an external hard drive. Important information. While Windows 11 is running, do not disconnect the volume with its files from your Mac. If you will remove the drive without stopping the virtual machine, it may damage it. So be really careful if you don't want to lose your data. By the way, I'm using Parallels desktop on my external Samsung SSD for about a year now and it works just fine.
So moving your parallel desktop virtual machine to an external hard drive is a good idea, especially if you want to save some space on your Mac. It's really easy and I do recommend doing it to everyone. Just be aware that you should have an SSD drive to run virtual machine, because old style spinning hard drives may not be as fast as you would like them to be, especially for gaming. As I said earlier, while Windows 11 virtual machine is running, do not disconnect the volume with the files from your Mac. If you will remove the drive without stopping the virtual machine, it may damage it. So be really careful if you don't want to lose your data. Guys, I hope this little tutorial helped you. Thanks for watching. If you want to support me, please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more tech-oriented content. Don't forget to check out my other videos on my channel as well. See you later on YouTube. Bye-bye.